Hi, Steve Adubato here at the Tisch WNET studio in the heart of Lincoln Center. You can see uh, behind me, it's a little dreary. It's rainy. But uh, out in Long Island, where you are, uh, Mr. Joe Waiulo, who is the curator and co-founder of the Long Island Aquarium and Exhibition Center. Center. Things are great out there, right? It's great year-round. We only close on Thanksgiving and Christmas, so yeah, any time of year is great to come out. And you started this 16 years ago. I did, initially, uh, actually 23 years ago, in oh, starting really? the plans and proposals for the aquarium, and the aquarium now celebrated its 15th year actually being open. That is fabulous. So the <laughs> idea for it, you're out on the island, yeah, and you say what? Well, I grew up on Long Island, and uh, I was always into fish and, you know, fishing with my dad, my grandfather, and followed a career in marine biology through school, uh, ended up with a job at New York Aquarium in Coney Island, realized that's something that I really enjoyed doing, uh, but wasn't crazy about commuting into Brooklyn every day, and we live on an island. It seems kind of silly not to have an aquarium. Uh, so I met one great guy, Jim Bissett, and uh, we sat down in eight years worth of plans and proposals, and uh, we, we built a great team and have a fantastic public aquarium now. But you told me right before we got on the air, I asked you about the coral reef display. Yes. And you said it's taken years to put together. What do you, what, what do you mean? Yeah, well, when I first started uh, taking care of corals, there really wasn't much known as far as maintaining them, keeping them long-term in an in a enclosed environment. That's some, some old video of my tank there. Um, but uh, so through the years of figuring out how they, what they need to survive and prosper, uh, so it's been about a 30-year run for me. And the tank out there is a 20,000 gallon. It's one of the largest in the world. And it's uh, internationally known. Why is it important to understand coral? Uh, corals do provide uh, a lot of uh, good importance for um, people, in, uh, especially in poorer areas. Uh, they provide the security for the fish to grow and prosper. Uh, they provide a lot of the vacation places that yeah. we like to go to. Yeah. Our, those islands are built by corals, so protecting them protects a lot of our interests as well. Yeah, let's show some video, because some of the other great exhibits out at the uh, Long Island Aquarium and, and Exhibit Center, uh, ex Exhibition Center, um, shark dive. Talk about the shark dive. Shark dive, we have a 120,000 gallon shark tank filled with sharks, and you can go down with our dive instructors. We have uh, great dive instructors out there, Maggie and Rachel, and uh, they take you down. You don't have to be certified, uh, but at full face mask, you can talk to each other while you're diving. Wait, hold on. The whole interactive piece, explain that to me. Uh, yeah, we're very interactive at the aquarium. We're very hands-on. So we actually, you know, you can look through the glass at these sharks and it's still very impressive, but immersed in their environment, totally different ball game. And this gives you the opportunity to go down, hang out with the sharks for 20 minutes. You can talk to each other underwater. A explain the safety factor. 100% safety. You're inside this cage that the sharks cannot get into. And, uh, but you're immersed in there and the sharks are literally coming within inches of you as, as they cruise by. The other exhibit I know you're really proud of is the sea lion encounter. Excuse me, the, uh, the sea lion, what is it? Uh, well, we have a sea lion stadium. So we do different shows there throughout the, throughout the day. Uh, there's a photo opportunity with them. You can get a nice kiss from some of the sea lions well, yeah, as well. What, what, what do you mean you can get a kiss from a sea lion? Yeah, uh, after, the initial sh after the shows are done, uh, after the shows, you can... Uh, I'm looking yeah, at it right there. There you go. There's one of our weddings. So we do a lot of catering <laughs> Wait, at the aquarium. You do weddings? Weddings, bar mitzvahs, you name it. We cater, uh, have an incredible catering department at the aquarium. We've got the hotel that we've just built, the Hyatt Place East End, right next door. So it's really a destination. But, but Joe, what I'm curious about is what happens if the sea lion doesn't want to kiss one of these people? Correct. You can't make them do something that they don't want to do. Do they ever say no? Uh, yeah, they have, uh, they have their moods just like us. <laughs> <laughs> and they just um, say no. They'll, yeah, they just, and, you know, and you have to respect that and um, yeah. you have to move on. Uh, talk to us about the penguin exhibit. Penguin exhibit is great. Uh, it's 10 years now. Uh, we've had seven babies born there and we do a penguin encounter wow. program. Here's one of the encounters here. And uh, you get to go into the exhibit with, with us. Right in there. Yeah, yeah. And then we have an encounter room uh, where they, you can go down and actually uh, see what a penguin feels like. You get to touch a penguin and really learn about their biology and how fascinating those creatures are. What's it like for you? I mean, it, it took all those years. <clears throat> you started in your basement, right? Yeah, yeah. It took all those years to create this. Mm -hmm. And then you see people coming to, out onto the island, to Long Island. They come to the aquarium and exhibition center and you see them enjoying themselves, interacting. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you? It's a huge honor. It's. Um... You know, people are spending their money to come see something that, that we built. Um, it's a great way of educating the public for uh, environmental protection. 
Um, but, you know, people also want to be entertained as well. So, yeah, when I'm in there or I'm working and I hear the kids screaming when they see that shark tank, the oohs and the ahs, and uh, it's incredibly rewarding for me to be yeah. in that situation. And so everybody knows, it's in Riverhead, Long Island? Riverhead, Long Island. So just take the LIE out to, like, exit 73, and we're right, at, we're right there in Riverhead. You're proud of what you've done. Uh, very much so. My son's helped me build it, and uh, it's just been a, a great, great project. I'm truly honored to be part of it. And before I let you go, it's a destination area. Describe what else is going on out there. Oh, yes. <clears throat> well, we've got the Hyatt Place to East End right next door, a hotel that we built. We've got uh, Atlantis Banquets and Events, so it's a, a huge catering hall next to the aquarium. We do the catering at the aquarium. Wineries uh, there, too? Wineries are great. Uh, farmlands, beautiful farmlands. People think of New York, and they just think of where we are right now in New York City. Out east, there's tremendous farmlands, Tanger Outlets, uh, Splish Splash Water Park. You know, you can really go out and spend uh, a short little staycation and really enjoy the East End. It's, it's worlds away from where we are sitting here. Long Island's a special place. Very special. I'm really glad to have uh, been born and raised there. Well, great to have you here in Manhattan and uh, wish you nothing but the best out there. Great, Keep Steve. doing Thank great things. Thank you very much. I appreciate um, it. Joe is the curator and co-founder of the Long Island Aquarium and Exhibition Center. And uh, 16 years, 15 or 16? Coming on 16 now. Coming 16 yep. years. One million visitors every year and uh, over at uh, Riverhead, Long Island. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stay with us. Uh, it's raining here in Manhattan, but uh, good things also happening <laughs> out on Long Island. We'll be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by United Airlines, Investors Bank, Holy Name Medical Center, Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, Fedway Associates, Partners for Health Foundation, and by ADP. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.